Welcome to the Bootstrap Founder. My name is Alvid Kahl and I talk about bootstrapping, entrepreneurship and building in public. Today, I'll talk about staying accountable as a creator when you have a reputation to lose, which all creators do. You learn how I vet my sponsors and what this shift from cash to trust that I've been witnessing means for the advertising industry. And that brings me, quite fittingly, to the sponsor of today's episode. One thing that I'm always confused by in my own business, and it still is confusing for me to this day, is just financial, dealing with money. I love writing and I love coding, but put me in front of this spreadsheet with all these CSV files from my bank and all these places, and I get very confused. It's just not for me. I was just doing my taxes a couple weeks ago, and I felt this small wave that got bigger and bigger of rage coming up every now and then. But fortunately, you don't have to feel like this. Enter Pinto Financial. They streamline your bookkeeping, your forecasting, and your cash flow, but they don't stop there. They take it to the next level and they provide custom video based monthly reports for you so that you always know where you stand financially. Think of them as your financial lifeline, guiding you through the choppy waters of business financial management. So, if you're ready to navigate these waters with confidence and some help, visit usepinto.com slash learn to learn more about how Pinto Financial can help you build profitably. That's usepinto.com slash learn. All right, now let's get to our main topic today. Something is happening in paid advertising. We're witnessing a significant shift in how people react to ads, particularly when it comes to how they use search engines. And as usual, AI, ChatGPT, is responsible. As conversational AI becomes more accessible to the masses, I've been seeing the growing sentiment among people. They would rather put in the extra effort of fact-checking ChatGPT's output than be bombarded with ads on Google search. After decades of Google being widely accepted as the easiest way to find information, this is a notable shift. People on the hunt for information, they want answers immediately, and they're fed up with having to intentionally ignore the sponsored ads that Google puts in front of them. I've heard people say that I'll take ChatGPT with a few hallucinations any day over sponsored content. That is a strong statement. If early AI adopters already show such a strong tendency to do more work just to avoid being sold something, there's a larger transition waiting for us down the line. And I don't think this is a new trend either. It's the continuation of what many creators have experienced for a while. The advertising landscape is moving heavily from just looking at money towards a trust-based model. But why is this happening? And how does it impact founders and creators? Well, let's take a look at how podcasts monetize, mostly through sponsorships, or rather, host-narrated sponsorships, like what I was doing earlier in this podcast. Whatever podcast you listen to, if it's monetized, it's pretty likely a collaboration between podcast host and advertiser, not just a mere placement. And it is significantly different from the regular write copy, display copy, get clicks model, traditional ads and digital media. Most podcast advertisers don't run their own produced ads as they would have done on the radio with like music and a deep voice announcing something because those just simply don't yield the desired results anymore. However, conversions happen when the podcast host, the person that listeners hopefully tune in for, reads the ad to them. Listeners trust the host to have integrity. And besides that, it's kind of hard to fake genuine praise when you have to read an advertisement into a microphone. People very quickly figure out that level of dishonesty if you try. That's why content creators have started correcting the copy that they receive from advertisers. Not only do they add their own voice to it, they also tend to take out statements that they disagree with or wouldn't even be able to defend publicly. They just don't read these things. And this dynamic changes the power structure in the relationship between the podcaster and the advertiser. Advertisers aren't just buying access to a listener audience anymore. They're now purchasing a piece of the host's credibility. And that credibility is valuable because audiences are paying attention to what happens there and they're keeping score. Which is why creators have become much more cautious about working with sponsors who might show even just a tiny hint of shady dealings. Running even a single ad for a disreputable company could potentially taint a creator's reputation forever. And in the attention economy, your reputation is all you have. 
As a consequence, creators are doing a lot more due diligence. Background checks on advertisers have become the norm for me at this point. Instead of saying yes to every opportunity and whenever there's money, I dig into customer reviews, potential red flags around the founders, stories that I find online, or ongoing legal disputes. I check for it all. I spend a lot of time on this. Because if your reputation is on the line, it's essential to pay close attention to who you let sponsor your content. You can't afford to partner with disreputable companies when your audience trusts you and wants to trust you. It's ironic. In the world with fewer and fewer massive gatekeepers, creators now become the gatekeepers for their own audiences. It's not access to a profession that's hard anymore. Those gatekeepers are gone. It's access to someone's carefully curated audience that is gatekept. Creators understand that now they have skin in the game and their credibility is at risk with every sponsor placement. And this shift in advertising dynamics is a stark contrast to the previous practice of simply adding AdWords to a website and just watching the revenue roll in. This traditional online advertising model is no longer as effective as it once was. It still kind of works, but there are different ways now. People have become more sensitive to paid ads to the point where they prefer tools that blatantly lie to them, something that ChatGPT is known to do, over those that manipulate them with ad placements in front of content. And this blew my mind the first time somebody expressed this to me. And yet, I completely understand it at the same time. Because I just look at my own history of how I interact with these tools. I run an ad blocker. I use Hey.com for my emails because they don't inject ads and don't allow for tracking links. I've long since replaced Google Analytics on my properties with Fathom Analytics, which is more privacy conscious. And ever since I thought about this, I've been using ChatGPT more deliberately as a research tool since I understood that while I need to double check results, they are way more likely to be presented in my interest alone not in advertisers. ChatGPT surfaces information because it fits, not because it can build somebody's paid ads account, at least not yet. And even though this is all happening in our little AI aficionado bubble, it is still showing a more significant trend. And this shift in consumer behavior should serve as a wake-up call for founders and creators when they're crafting their marketing strategy. Honesty, integrity, and trust are now essential components of a successful advertising campaign, not just copy. Now it's about the relationship part. So what does this mean for creators? Well, let me give you a couple takeaways from this. First is prioritize trust and integrity. Your reputation is your most valuable asset at this point. Align yourself with trustworthy partners and be extremely selective with the sponsors that you work with. A few hundred dollars for a single line of text in an email, that might sound extremely promising. But remember that this email will be an irremovable piece of evidence for your lack of judgment when that advertiser turns out to be a scammer. Number two, be transparent. In a world where trust is crucial, transparency goes a long way. In fact, it's the only sustainable way to build trust. Be open about your partnerships and affiliations and don't hesitate to share the reasons behind your choices of sponsor with your audience. This is a built-in public action. Sharing your reasoning for picking a sponsor shows that you know what you're doing and it demonstrates how much you value the integrity of your relationship with your readers, your listeners, and your viewers. So build that in public too. Number three is develop authentic relationships. Forge authentic relationships with your audience and your partners so that your recommendations and endorsements actually carry more weight or any weight at all. And finally, number four, be prepared for change. The advertising landscape is continuously evolving, so be prepared to adapt and refine your strategies within there. Stay informed about industry trends and just be ready to pivot as you might need to. Keep a close eye on the generative AI world and how it tries to replace traditional knowledge lookup. Just yesterday, I think Google was sharing that now Google search is gonna have an AI component. That's pretty huge. It's going to disrupt SEO for sure, but it's also going to change how people look at Google as a search company. Because now, what I said earlier, this kind of pushing advertising in there, that that will not happen as much when AI is writing the text. Or maybe Google will create an AI system that includes ads into its whole structure. It's going to be a pretty weird ride, but even more 
trust is at the core of your relationship with your customers. Because if people can't trust Google, they're going to try and find another way to find you. And if your content that you produce allows them to trust it more, then that is something that you should be doing. This shift towards a trust-based advertising model presents new challenges and opportunities for creative entrepreneurs like us. No matter how you make your money, you'll need to keep an eye on your credibility in everything you do, because it's the currency that AI cannot emulate. And personally, I welcome this change. As a creator, I appreciate that my audience wants to genuinely recommend what I use myself like they want to recommend what i would recommend and for that i need to want to be able to use it right it's, it's it's something that should resonate with me and that makes it incredibly easy for me to say no to prospective sponsors because if i don't like the thing they offer i don't want to give it to anybody else and that is something that i do on a weekly basis at this point because i get a lot of requests and this makes it equally easy to communicate to my audience how exactly i make sure that they are safe with me and now obviously this is limited to what I know about my sponsors, right? From just doing my own research. I don't have a crystal ball and what is a perf perfectly legitimate offer today could turn into a scammy bait and switch tomorrow. You never know. But at the very least, I put in the effort to protect my audience from the most egregious stuff. Looking at you, pump and dump crypto advertisers. You won't find that here with me because I don't think this is something that I would like to use and I will not share it even if people offer me money for this. The world of advertising is undergoing a significant transformation. And if the result of this is that we all build stronger and more authentic connections with our audiences, well, then I'm all for it. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening to The Bootstrap Founder. You can find me on Twitter at Arvid Kahl, A-R-V-I-D-K-H-L. You find my books, my Twitter course there as well. If you want to support me in the show, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get the podcast in your podcast player of choice and leave a rating and a review by going to ratethispodcast.com slash founder. Any of this will truly help the show. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.